Right guys, Man City have just beaten Crystal Palace by two goals to nil. It was a fairly straightforward game. Um, just Man, Man City uh, in the second half just dominated really. I, I thought Crystal Palace in the first half played uh, really well. Um, they created probably more chances than Man City to be honest. Abir Eze had a decent opportunity uh, ben Teke had a head of which he uh, missed timed completely, jumped far too early. Um, so pa Palace could have been 1 0 up in the first half, I felt. Um, but so he did put the ball in the back of the net in the first half, but it was disallowed for offside and rightly so. Um, and in, in the second half, the goals came from Sergio Aguero. I mean, what a player, what a goal as well today. Brilliant control, just levered it into the roof of the net uh, from the penalty spot. And that, it's, that's a typical Aguero finish. And I mean, he's got maximum four games left and he's not going to play all four games in the league. Um, and we, we know he's probably not going to play in the Champions League. Um, so, I mean, it is a bit sad to see him leave as... Um, he, he's been in the Premier League for 10 years now and a big staple of my childhood. Um, he's also ruined a lot of moments for me as a Liverpool fan. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Um, the League Cup final 2016, uh, the Premier League title 2019, uh, the Premier League title 2014. Even the bloody Community Shield in 2019, I'm still a bit annoyed about. I don't know if he plays in that game there. But but still, I mean, what a player. Uh, I don't know how many goals he's got for City now. It must be around the 250 mark, I'd guess. Probably around the same amount that Wayne Rooney's got for Man United, I'd guess. Um, because he, I, I think he's probably scored more per season, but he's probably had a couple six seasons less than Rooney had at United and let, let's be honest he is City's best ever striker like no offence to uh, I don't know who else they've had um, Edin Dzeko uh, Colin Bell Sean Gota um, who else Robbie Fowler he, he wasn't at his peak when he was at Man City was he let's be honest uh, yeah he definitely City's best ever striker. And a young player called Ferran Torres. Uh, he came in at the start of the season. Uh, yeah, he hasn't had a major impact this season, but he still looked good at times when he's played. Uh, scored a really good goal today, to be fair. Um, Riyad, similar goal that you'd expect Riyad Mahrez to score. Cuts in on the left and uh, just like curls it into the bottom corner without too much power. And yeah, the keeper had no chance with it. And from then on, it was just a straightforward victory for Man City. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just performance of a team that's our champions, really. Uh, just straightforward over a team that are in mid-table. And let's be honest, Crystal Palace have nothing to play for. Technically, they're not 100% safe yet. It's possible they could still get relegated, but they're past that 40-point mark, so they're, they're safe, let's be honest. Um, and Fulham aren't going to win four of their last five games, are they? That's not going to happen. And, yeah, um, another bit of news I wanted to bring up. Philip Coutinho to Everton. Nah. Nah. Can't happen, can it? Look at the look at the smile on his face. He, he wouldn't do that to me, would he? He wouldn't. He wouldn't just go and join Raheem Sterling in the fucking snake club, would he? Nah. He would, wouldn't he? He would. He might do. It looks like it the well apparently the deal's going to happen. Uh, I'd be absolutely gutted if it does happen. Um, I'd love him to join Liverpool again. I'd welcome him back with open arms. Um, I don't care that he pushed a move through to Barcelona. He is one of my top three favourite players of all time. 
And if he joins Everton, I will literally spend the day he joins Everton just crying into my pillow. Um, no word of a lie. Uh, yeah. He uh, definitely was the shining light in some uh, dark times for this football club. Uh, that season where it was Gerard's final season and in the last game we lost 6-1 that year. He was phenomenal. The year after he was phenomenal. The year after he was phenomenal. It, it, just so good and yeah, so many great memories of him and it would absolutely destroy me internally if he does join Everton. But anyway, back, back on the Man City game. Um, just like... How their second string team is good enough to get top four is um, is amazing, isn't it? Really, it might not get top four this season, but it, it can definitely rival um, West Ham starting eleven, Chelsea. No, maybe not Chelsea now. Uh, Leicester's and Liverpool's like the two, the three best teams in the league right now are Man City, Man United, and Chelsea. We can all agree on that. And um, like I like this Man City team definitely beats Tottenham, definitely beats Everton, and probably beats West Ham. Liverpool might even beat them as well. Let's be honest. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, that's basically all I've got to say. It was straightforward victory for City. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.